All right, we are back. This part of the show, we're going to do some music business news. And like I said, we don't do any gossip. We just do facts. We do opinion, stuff like that. Our first story today is Hybe and how Hybe is getting into the label services business. So if you don't understand what a label services business model is, uh, technically, it's where a distributor would offer the same services to an artist that if they were signed to that particular label as an artist would get. So they would get, you know, promotional marketing, you know, a bunch of different added services that a distributor usually wouldn't provide, if that makes sense. So th- this business model or this particular business segment of as far as on the music side has been gro- has been growing because independent artists are growing as far as that are actually being successful so especially within this market and this gives a particular opportunity to label services businesses or distributors to work with artists without actually signing long-term deals or whatever the case may be or you know whatever the case may be like flexible super flexible deals uh where they are providing a service and also giving um that particular um person that they're working with a lot more leeway on ownership um but with that being said this particular segment of the market i personally think is is closed like i feel like there is there, there probably was a, a time where a smaller distributor could have come and really, you know, kind of make a dent within the, the, the within the marketplace. But after certain uh, acquisitions and ex- acquisitions that's about to come from Warner Music Group, we're going to see a tightening of that market where there's not going to be an opportunity for a smaller player without money, without a lot of money gamma money to penetrate this particular market majors are already on it all all the majors are going to own different every particular level of an artist's career they're gonna you know they're gonna get you on the bottom they're gonna get you in the middle and they're gonna get you on top so so in case you missed it hybe the company behind the superstars bts and 17 just launched a label services business in the u.s music business worldwide reported that last week the south korean headquartered music company behind superstars bts and 17 rebooted the company launched hive 2.0 a new global strategy under the leadership of newly appointed jason jason Yi lee who is succeeding joan park hive ceo for the past three years one of its most surprising plans were buried in the de- in a detailed rundown of the new structure. Hybe revealed that it's entering one of its most competitive and lucrative sectors in modern music, pro- and which is providing distribution and services for independent artists. Hybe, which generated 1.66 billion last year, is launching a new label services business with the focus on the United States. It would operate under the firm's U.S. division, Hive America, which can, is can, continued to be led by Scooter Braun, which is the CEO. In a letter to shareholders last week, signed off by Hive's new CEO, Jason Zhuang Lee, and former CEO, the company confirmed the new label services unit will provide comprehensive services for labels and artists, including distribution, marketing, and promotion. The company's Entrance into the label services sector arrives amid increased MU M&A interest in the business focus of offering such services to labels and independent artists. So obviously you see that as an interest because if you can enter the market and you have a unique way of doing it and you have the money, especially the people with the money, they want to be able to kind of get behind these these particular businesses. I have a prediction. I believe that the thing that we're going to be having to look to look forward to is the rise of the label is the artist business sector. So, you know, I think you should Google it. I did a video on it. Label is the artist is pretty much it's a business model that acts without having to sign a particular a particular artist to a long-term deal and without actually having to 
rely on offering services like label services to kind of, you know, add up, you know, your particular revenue. But like I said, Google that, check it out. I'll leave that in the comments so you can check it out. So tell me your thoughts about that and anything else we talk about today. Drop it in the comments. I'll make sure that I respond. So with that being said, let's get back to the music. Let's go. <laughs> 